Good morning, Toastmasters. Thank you for attending my speech, non-believer. I did not believe in black holes. Why? I had probably first heard about them around 1977. I heard about them in comics, written and first produced in the 1950s and reproduced in hardbound, glossy editions in the 1970s. Classics such as Weird Fantasy, that would take a young man out of space with uh, attacking creatures, guns, and of course, girls. If you wanted the hard stuff, the good stuff, you had to read Weird Science. It also had the black holes, the space analogies, comets, rocket ships with fins just like classic automobiles. For those of you whose eyes are getting heavy, it's all the science talk. Fear not. And according to this book, by the year 2030, the marine uniform will be the space kilt and the battle peekaboo panties. From comics, I moved on to television. I was hoping in this venue, I would get more of the good stuff, hard science. I'd learn what the universe was all about, right? No, TV was just about rescuing the redhead and the blonde. They probably locked themselves out of their spaceship. Finally, I thought the high tech, CGI, Big dollar Hollywood sci-fi blockbuster would teach me all about the cosmos and the great universe out there, right? Wrong. Women were still princesses and men were just dogs. Well, why not? Not even dogs. Flatulent smelling, lumpy tongue, mucus covered, grotesque slugs. That's what men were. But I I gotta tell you, I could not forget the gold steel bikini. Everywhere I looked, I thought I was seeing a gold steel bikini. Fortunately, it was, I found out I wasn't the only one with this Princess Leia fantasy. Now, I should have been exercising my mind. I should have been studying Four fundamental forces of the universe. Martin particle theory, quarks, leptons, all 24 of the different fundamental particles. Planck epic, and the no hair theorem. But instead, I was imagining that for me, the perfect job would be refereeing the full contact, no holds barred, international, Princess Leia in the old bikini pillow fight. I put black holes out of my mind, believing they were like unicorns, leprechauns, and the Easter bunny. And science smacked me right in the face. Black holes not only exist and are true, here's a map showing you where the closest seven of them are. Then in the year 2017, Using a wide array of cameras, filters, and algorithms, the first photo ever of a black hole was captured and distributed internationally. Now, this is not a speech about black holes. The speech is about learning to ignore the distractions and to focus what is important. Speech is about my new purpose in life, anthropogeny. What is anthropogeny? What is anthropogeny? Anyone? Anthropogeny is the study of the origin of humankind. It only took me 59 and a half years. I finally found a focus and purpose for my life. There'll be no more space cadet tomfoolery here Tuesday morning, every six weeks for bite-sized clues to the greatest mystery of all. 
Your purpose in life is to find your purpose and give your whole heart and soul to it, Buddha. This has been a kissing cousin. Adequate.